Welcome to Dream Reader. Sometimes a dream will come along with an unusual amount of strong energy that lingers with me for days or even weeks after. It feels like I was there. And in fact, I'm sure I was there. Which is why the dream energy feels so powerful in dreams like that. At the time of creating this video, in November of 2023, this next recent dream was one of those that I still feel the powerful energy of weeks later. Dreams like this one carry that kind of a high energy for a reason. There's something very important in them for me to experience and or to witness. And it's interesting to note that I had just recently asked my guides, okay guys, what do you want me to share on my channel next? What is it that you would like to say? After waking from this dream, I felt a sense that this was their response to that question. As we travel closer and closer to this new earth transition, the old 3D energy vibrations are fading and the new higher vibrations are entering. This melding pot of old low energy leaving and new high energy entering on this planet is creating a recipe for a lot of strangeness and confusion to take place around here. And it seems that this next dream has shown me a glimpse of that. This is a dream I had on October the 26th of 2023, and I titled it, A Glitch in the Matrix. It was early evening and I had a few friends over just casually hanging out. I noticed one of my friends standing in front of my door wall. He appeared to be mesmerized by something which captured my curious attention. I walked over towards the door wall, and as I approached it, I instantly began to feel the sense of something very strange in the air. I looked out, up towards the sky. I saw a heavy overcast with the clouds moving in very strange and unnatural ways. I noticed certain areas within the clouds that would brightly light up with various different colors and shapes, as if there was something behind them that could not be seen. And after several minutes, the lights would fade out and then show up someplace else with different shapes and different colors. I began to feel a euphoric sense with something very powerful going on here. My friend then pointed up to our right and asked, What's that? I looked to see a large craft slowly floating overhead with four smaller, brightly lit orbs trailing behind it, all flying in a V-shaped formation with the triangle craft leading. At that moment, I realized something very unique was taking place. I looked around to see people walking and vehicles passing by. I noticed something very strange and unnatural was taking place with motion. It was as if everything was glitchy. Their motion would occasionally stop and stutter, almost like everything was in a flicker movie. I turned to my friends and said, it appears we have a glitch in the matrix going on here, guys. At that moment, I felt an inner sense that what we were witnessing here was in some way connected to the new Earth transition. I saw what I understood to be a family of four walk up to the door wall of my home trying to get in, 
but they could not. I understood that they used to live here a very, very long time ago. They seemed confused or oblivious as to what was going on. I spoke to them. You no longer live here in this home. You are lost, and you need to find your way back to your true home. One of the kids was a teenage boy, about 17 years old. Somehow I knew his name was John, and he understood what I really meant. He slipped his hand through the glass of the door wall, which I knew was a very unique ability, and he shook my hand as I said, John is a very powerful entity. He smiled at me as they all turned to walk away. And it was at this moment when I began to feel the sense that the astral plane appeared to be bleeding in with the physical plane, and souls that were lost or confused after passing were becoming much more visible. The scene jumped, and it was as if a period of time had passed by. I looked behind me to see my friends were afraid with this strange and bizarre activity that was taking place. But I felt a sense of excitement and curiosity. And my curiosity compelled me to step outside and take a closer look and feel with whatever it was going on here. As I walked out the door, I could see that my friends were very gingerly and cautiously following behind me. When I stepped outside, I noticed that most people were in fear, but there were also several people like myself that were not afraid and were very curious and very calm. I looked up to the skies again. I noticed the clouds were growing thicker and darker to the point where it almost appeared to be coming nighttime. I felt a strong sense of total awe wash over me as I wondered what amazing event might happen next. I woke from the dream and thought to myself, Was that a response to my recent question? I then glanced at the clock to see it was 1234, or 1, 2, 3, 4. Now that may sound like nothing more than a crazy coincidence to some, but we should never ignore those strange coincidental moments. Synchronicity like this is one way the universe tries to communicate with us, and I saw this synchronistic moment as validating my current thought. In the dream, especially during the scene when I turned to my friends and said, it appears we have a glitch in the matrix going on here, I felt the sense that this strange activity I was witnessing was connected to our great transition into the higher densities of the new earth as we travel from the third through the fourth and into the fifth density. There is a metaphorical, yet also very literal, wall that separates those dimensions. And those walls have been thinning for some time. As they grow thinner and thinner over time, Realities of consciousness that appear to be strange and bizarre to us are bleeding through those walls. And we are experiencing strange and unusual activity that we have come to refer to as a glitch in the matrix. The strange activity I was witnessing in this dream felt tenfold compared to the strange activity we are currently witnessing. So what are the glitches in the matrix that we are currently experiencing? They are documented 
all over the internet and can be found with a little research. I might suggest that you do some research for yourself, and I guarantee you, you will find some of these strange activities. And so as time goes on, and the new Earth vibrations climb higher and higher, I believe this dream was showing me glimpses of what we might expect to witness. Some scenes may have been symbolic, while others were literal, but the big picture of the message was very clear. Something very strange and unusual, yet also very wonderful and unique, is going on around us.